So today I'm going to talk about Johnny Somali, the infamous kick streamer who last year wrought the ire of Japanese people everywhere. He was later arrested and has now been criminally charged. Um, I will give a brief summary of the verdict and perhaps a very controversial viewpoint. However, bear with me and see if I can make my case uh, through to a logical conclusion. Japanese prosecutors have demanded an American known for streaming provocative videos pay a fine of ni ju ma en, uh, 200,000 n for allegedly streaming a video while playing loud music at a restaurant in Osaka early this year. Ismail Ramzi Khalid, 24, known as Johnny Somali on YouTube, said during the first hearing in his trial Tuesday at the Osaka District Court that he regretted shooting a video at the Gyudon Beef on Rice restaurant. Quote, I am sorry, I promise I will never take videos again, unquote. He said as the court played a one minute video he had streamed. According to the indictment, Khalid obstructed the business of the Gyudon restaurant by taking a video with his smartphone while playing loud music in the early hours of September 12th. Uh, Khalid admitted to shooting the video but claimed that the music was played automatically. In the trial, um, concluded on Tuesday, prosecutors argued that the defendant's action was to fulfill his desire for public recognition and that there was no room for leniency. According to his defense team, Khalid is a graduate uh, school student and came to Japan in August during summer break. He was arrested in September for a separate indictment in which he allegedly broke into a construction site in Osaka. According to a video footage, Khalid wore a mask and repeatedly shouted Fukushima to construction workers who urged him to leave the site. He was not indicted in that case. Khalid's other videos include those in which he makes light of the US atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and makes racist comments about Japanese people. I'm very disappointed in Japan. Why am I disappointed in Japan? Because our grandparents, some of us, our parents, died either as soldiers or casualties of war so that Japanese people could be endowed with inalienable human rights, which also extends to every person visiting our lovely little country. So why does this guy get charged with trespass in this incident and these guys don't get charged with trespass in a prior incident. I'll tell you why. Because everyone hates him and rightly so because <gasps> He's a pedantic, pontificating, pretentious bastard, a belligerent old fart, a worthless steaming pile of cow dung, figuratively speaking. Therefore, anyone who opposes him is automatically in the right and is therefore a hero. But if this guy gets charged with criminal trespass, then these one, two, three, four, five, six, that round white man counts for five. These 12 people need to get charged with criminal trespass and that extra swishy gentleman with the tattoos on his arm, he needs to get charged with harassment and stalking at the minimum. The law is reason free from passion. If we truly wish to honor our ancestors and the sacrifices they made, we shouldn't be selling out ourselves, uh, allowing our feelings to dictate how and who and which laws apply. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, even criticisms, please exercise your freedom to write what you want to say and I'll see you in the next video.